Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and you're watching SoCal Disney Dad and today we are at the San Diego Zoo at the all new Denny Sanford Wildlife Explorers Base Camp. This is the Children's Zoo. They used to call it the Children's Zoo, renamed to the Wildlife Explorers Base Camp, opening today for the first day, which is Friday, March the 11th. So we're so excited to show it to you. We're seeing it for the first time and you're gonna join right on with us. So let's get going. It's like that meme on Spider-Man. He's yeah. recording me and I'm recording him. It's kind of it's funny how that works out. <laughs> David from Big Red Journeys never fails to surprise and impress with his outfits. Thank so you. Your, your safari outfit. I do have a safari outfit, but you know, I just have to be classic SoCal Disney dad. So. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not big enough like him to you know, have my own brand. <laughs> yeah. yet, you're, you're, I'm working on it. Your child is ready to go. Benjamin apparently wants to just go into this. Uh oh, he sees a big ball. All right, well, let's head on in then. Wow, this is the entrance opening area. Very wide, lots and lots of tables. I see some umbrellas there so you can protect against the shade. This big ginormous ball over here. Benjamin goes straight forward, of course. And we have these like giant beetles on the ground. <laughs> Amy thinks they're disturbing. I was about to say that's really fun, <laughs> but disturbing is another word. <laughs> there you go. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna start right off here to the right of the entrance just because you can see it from walking in from the main zoo, which is spineless marbles. So we have insects here. It's gonna be fun to check out. Amy's not gonna like it though, I'm sure. Well, insects? Insects. No, okay, Especially if there's spiders in here. <laughs> Woo! Nice! See, we're just gonna leave the camera on so you can get our first impressions walking in here. This is really, really cool. I love the ceiling. The only thing that I'd probably say here is that I can't really read any of the words in this wall. Now the camera does a fantastic job of brightening it up so that you guys could probably somewhat see those words, but it's really dark in here. Uh, and there's no light on this for what you would think, but there's, look at these lights behind the flowers over here. This is super cool. Ooh, look what we found. This is a Malaysian bush cricket. Wow. You can see he's like a grasshopper, but that, that's he has a bush cricket. There's another one. Oh, two of them actually. One right there and one right there. Well, I'm sure there's lots to see, so let's just continue on. The lubber grasshopper. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this guy. Oh, <laughs> is that why they're called the lubber grasshoppers? <laughs> ah. <laughs> the things that you like to see. They're called the lubber grasshoppers because they're loving each other. <laughs> and those ones back there. And those ones back there. Yeah, but there's all sorts of loving going on with the lubber grasshoppers. So I found out from somebody that works here at the zoo, the screen that you see up there, the projection with all the bugs and the insects around, you're never ever going to see the same projection twice, no matter how hard you try. The reason why is that there's actually AI, artificial intelligence. They're changing the way that the bugs fly, maybe the quantity, the coloring in the background. So yeah, they may be similar because it does rotate between different insects, but the scene will never ever be the same twice. Cool, very cool. Here we have a black beauty stick insect. Lots of mating insects going on in, in here. But these, uh, these insects are, are kind of creepy. Here we have the Peruvian jumping stick. I was staring at this glass trying to see what was in here and, and missed him. He's right here. There's another one right back there. Can you see it? Can you see it? That's him. Right there. It, it looks like a twig, doesn't it? But that's an insect, all right. Check out the dragon-headed Katie did. There's another one hanging up right here. These are some interesting insects. I've never seen or heard of any of these insects that are in this exhibit before. Pretty unique exhibit for sure. Here we have another section that's got some informational stuff on the wall for you. 
and then we spin around and we have this nice glass that gives you some up close and personal uh, view at what they're doing in the background there uh, whenever they happen to do different shows and things. And they also have an interactive table here. It looks like loads and loads of kids are enjoying the games and the, the interactive table. What do we have over here? Oh, pinned insects that you can can look at under a screen. Oh, you just move you move this, and it it changes. Look how big. Oh, look at that. Benji's just looking at the big screen. Benjamin, turn around here and look. Oh, it it something happened. Oh, there it is. And then they have more pinned insects up here for you to look at and enjoy. Here we have the white-eyed assassin bug. Wow, check out how many there are. White-eyed assassin bug. They are swarming every inch of this. Even up through here, you can see the, the orange and yellow spots, the white spots. Those are all different bugs. Now we're moving into like a honeycomb room and it looks like they've got some bees over here. But check out the bees. Lots what? Of bees. Wow, lots and lots of bees. Look at all those bees. Bees upon bees upon bees. bees. Fuzz. <laughs> Kids that blow dandelion fuzz. <laughs> and I'll do whatever snow does in summer. We've stepped out into a different area now. I see a waterfall that makes me happy. How many new waterfalls are in the Denny Sanford Wildlife Explorers Base Camp? But check this out. We've got this like tree in here. You could go downstairs here. All right. We'll just walk around. Yeah. Let's keep walking along up here. There is an animal sleeping That's this in the guy box. right here. I think. Oh, like an aardvarky looking thing. That's probably what he looks like. This is big. I know. This is a lot more elaborate than the um, model that they had yeah. made it look like. Because when they showed the model, it was like, oh, building, building. You're taking out the play areas to stick in buildings, but this is actually really nice looking. Very, very nice. Next is cool critters. So you can get here right from the exit of the insects. They also have another entrance on the other side that's as pretty as the insect entrance. But we're gonna come in here and check this out for right now. Yeah, the, the doors are very cool. We have a tree boa. He's gorgeous. He's down there at the bottom. He's a tree boa and he's on the ground, not in the tree. Here we have a rosy boa. All you can see is the back end though. I don't know where its head is. Oh, it's going through the log by the looks of it. Oh, his head's right there. He's coming oh, out. he's coming out? He's coming out. Well, there's the rosy boa coming out of the log there. Over here, we have the skeleton of a reticulated python. It's pretty big. Pretty big. Look, Benjamin. Look how big that snake is compared to you. The prehensile-tailed skink has his own fog machine. That's pretty neat. The Woma is hanging out under this log. That's all that we can see of its body, is what you can see right there. Here we have the Angolan Python. Probably one of the few snakes we can see a good a bit amount of. There's a lot that just aren't on exhibit right now. We heard that they're not acclimated yet, so they haven't been moved into the exhibits yet. Check out this giant skull of this, probably crocodile. Hey, come here. Stick your hand next to this thing. 
Just for comparison purposes. Oh, Benjamin's head Benjamin's works head too. Works. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like, is, no wonder this thing could like swallow a kid. That is huge. <laughs> <laughs> they have some more stuff up here that you can, can look at. Looks like the head of a giant snapping turtle. No wonder you can lose a hand to these guys. Oh, yeah, I almost lost a finger once to one. We have some snake skins over here. They too also have a viewing area over here. Oh, look, do they have like peanuts and M&Ms there in the, in the jars in the back? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pet food, but still. Wow, look at this big frog. That is one ginormous frog. That's probably like from Africa or something. I feel like everything's big in Africa. It's like, why does it have a label? We're the rainforest. It could be South American rainforest. Yeah, where like all the big spiders are. Ooh, this is a Paku. The Paku lives in the deep waters of the Amazon. Yep, we're talking South America now. They have more interactive screens here that kids can enjoy. A little of uh, those cameras that we saw over in the insects. So they can do that over here too. We just stepped out of the reptile exhibit now and check this out. There's the sign, Cool Critters. Looks like there's a downstairs entrance that we need to go for cool critters. I didn't see how to get there from up here. So I think you have to literally work your way down in there and go through another level of cool critters. We'll check that out in a little bit. But we're up here for right now. Looks like they've got a little stage over here where they might do shows or demonstrations. This area is absolutely huge. Check out this rope bridge over here. We're gonna go across the rope bridge. Oh, take him to the bathroom. There's a bathroom right here. How convenient. Okay, yes, we can take Benji to go to the potty. Well, so this is very interesting. This is the bathrooms. They've got the men off to the right, the women off to the left, and then they have like a communal sink area. So they don't have any sinks in the left or the right. The sinks are here in the middle, which is just right available to the open air here, right next to the, the actual children's zoo. So that's an interesting design and layout. Well, we found animal one of those just demonstrations here. They said it's the first Where? animal presentation here. <laughs> we've been practicing. We moved in about a month ago or so. Um, so we've been bringing our animals out here and getting them ready for you guys to meet them. So our first animal that we have coming out, will be out in a minute, uh, but I'll tell you all about me because that's why you're here, right? No? Okay. My name is Lauren and I'm one of the wildlife care specialists and you guys are here to see him. So. The animal's name is Foo, and the trainer's name is Kristen. So she is our lead wildlife care specialist, and she has been working with Foo since he was only about eight weeks old. It's a little tiny, itty bitty little animal. Now, does anyone have any guesses out there? What kind of animal is Foo? A bear cat, that's absolutely right. How many of you guys have heard of bear cats before today? Now, why do you think we give them the name bear cat? Why is this species called a bear cat? It looks like a bear. It looks like a bear. What else does it look like? A cat. A cat, that's right. That's exactly how they got their name. Now, if you look at Fu, he does share features with both bears and cats. Now, he's not related to either one of those directly. Um, although all three, bears, cats, and binturongs, are in the carnivore order, uh, Foo here is more closely related to Janet's, Civet's, Fusa. Now here at the San Diego Zoo, obviously we don't get a lot of rain. But when we do, Foo is a very, I think, happy binturong. Um, he's very active whenever it rains. But out in the wild, they're primarily what we call a frugivore, which means that they eat fruit. So here at the San Diego Zoo, that is Foo's favorite food item, fruit. Apples, grapes, banana is top of his list. All right, well, we're gonna leave that presentation behind and come over here and go across the fun rope bridge because this looks really cool. In fact, Amy and Benjamin already abandoned me to go across the rope bridge because Benjamin was bored with the presentation. He's been finding all the little nets. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. Okay. It doesn't really bounce, okay. I thought it would be a bouncy bridge. I mean, it's got a little bit of give to it, but it's not like the the one at uh, Disneyland. Like you can really get shaking. Okay, go ahead, Benjamin. I will meet you at the top, okay? 
He wants to come up here. He wants to come up where? Right here. Oh, look. Here's a, a rope bridge crossing area. This looks far more precarious and interesting. Here he comes. Wow, how cool was that? Here, come here. This right here is just like a little, I don't know, overhang with a bouncy floor. Doesn't go anywhere. Squishy. We can go over here and look over the edge. Looks like, we, oh, we've got a waterfall water feature over there. That looks super fun. And a, a, like a little river stream. We'll have to go check that out. Oh, and I see steam over here in, in dancing water. This is just a fun, huge wet zone. We're going to go venture down the V-shaped bridge now. Maybe. It's uh, got quite a... Whoa, okay. Yeah, this is a little, little interesting. All right, Benji, let's go down this way. Looks like we have a small store over here. So that's pretty fun. Let's keep on going this way. The wild woods. Oh, look, is this like little showers? <laughs> uh, Benji, watch out. <laughs> yeah, they've got like little rain showers here. You push the button and uh, water play. <laughs> uh-huh oh look this west family must be like this west wool shed from the safari park the same people i know a waterfall that you can run under and get wet and that's what's creating this little stream river thing here so by the looks of it the stream and river doesn't continue on from the other direction it looks like it goes in here and it drains and then there's like must be another one uh benji's shoes are totally soaked now absolutely drenched his socks have got to be soaked he is not going to like that a little bit later so if i'm right then this is like a new a totally different spill out but maybe not Maybe there's water underneath the, the bridge here. So Big Red Journeys just reminded me that I didn't do my normal thing. I'm just so in shock from everything that's here. But look, behold the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water. Woo! O2H. O2H. <laughs> oh, I got a new backside of water place in the zoo. And this one you can't go through. This I one. know, I could actually walk through that as you can see the kids are doing. This is just so fun. Perfect. The zoo might be my new favorite over the safari park now. Not only does it have one backside of water, it now has two backsides of water. Awesome. Ooh, check this out. Benji found something. I wouldn't have even seen that. But he just he sees these things and ropes and he's like, I gotta grab. And, and then he's like, tunnel. Now he runs off. Whoa, where'd he go? Oh, there he is! Another entrance over here, along with another gift shop. They have flip-flops if you want to get into flip-flops so that you can enjoy the water splash. Towels, they had towels too. Towels too, and look, dipping Dots, my absolute favorite. So now we're coming through here, and now we're in the lower area. So now we have to go through the bottom half of Cruel Critter. Cool Critters. I almost said Cruel Critters, but they're not Cruel Critters. They're cool critters. <laughs> so let's go through the bottom half. Why, he wants to go back into the play area? Then I can go through cool critters by myself. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> he did not want to leave that area. Marsh Meadows. Yes, it's so kid approved, the kid area back there, that Benjamin did not want to leave. And he's starting to whine because we had to leave it. I think he would be a lot, have a lot more fun if we had brought like a change of clothes for him and he could have gotten wet. I see water, but I see nothing in the water. Oh yeah, there are some turtles over there. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. See the one on the, on the log right there? Okay, there's a, there's a little turtle. There's a little turtle right there. There's lots on the log because there's one on that one. Oh yes. You see that, you see that one's head sticking up right there? 
<laughs> and there's another one. Now that we're not in the sun, it's a little easier to see that guy on the log. Benji, watch out of the way. It's like they're going out of the way there. I can't, can't get them. Come on, back up. Come on, come up. Up, 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 up. Well, we just walked into the Cool Critters Underground and check all this cool lights on the ceiling. It's like a river flowing in here. Of course, we have what looks like water on the ground too. It's like we're under the water with the, all the fish and the turtles. Another interactive table here for the kiddos. We left Cool Critters now and trying to figure out where we are. Okay, so right over there is the spineless, whatever they are called. Uh, I guess there was stairs that we could have gotten down here. I didn't realize there were stairs there initially, but they have some more things that you can look at over here. So if we walk around this way, looks like there's a downstairs to spineless marbles. So we're gonna go in here. Are there any spiders in here? I think you'll be very happy with that. <laughs> no. She won't be though. Uh, oh no! <laughs> but I'm fine with it. Maybe forget I said that. There's no spiders in there. Fine, enjoy that. Ooh, check this out. Giant African millipede. Look at the giant African millipedes. Oh, and there's one moving in the background too. We got a rhinoceros beetle. Looks like we might have an ant exhibit off here to the left immediately. We'll have to see how well we can see the ants with our camera. Well, here is like a little little ant, um, a little ant colony here. We've got some really, really big ants down there at the bottom. Very, very neat. In some of the other holes, they don't have the, the big giant ants like they did in the other one. I don't know if those are queen ants, because I think there's only one queen. And she would probably be bigger than those bigger ants, but here's just some regular ones. Here are some little models about what it would look like if they were actually... Oh, actually, that's not a model. Those are live ants in there. This is to show you like what their tunnels would look like underground. How they have holes that, you know, they go down further and there's various levels. I want to give you fair warning if you don't like spiders, skip ahead like a minute. This here is the Antilles Pink Toe Tarantula. Check out that guy right there. Here's a Brazilian black tarantula. He's right up nice and close for us. Check out the Mexican fire leg tarantula. We've seen this at zoos before, but check this out. So there's Amy. Here's the display. That is glass at the bottom. That is not glass at the top. And over here we have some orb weaver spiders. And they are just open and available for people <laughs> to be near. Uh, apparently they don't, they probably don't stray very far from their webs. Here we have two, three actually, sorry, three Goliath stick insects. There's two right there, and then there's another one right here. You can see his little head. And there's a fourth one down here hanging for us. Goliath stick insects. So there's a fifth one right over here. I'm sure, oh, a sixth one right down there. It's like how many Goliath stick insects can we see if we look hard enough? Looks like my son has found another play area. This time there's a slope that you can climb with some ropes. And then over here they have like little rock wall nubs. And Benjamin's just going to town up there with the rope pool.
Hello. <laughs> He's like, hello. Come on down, Benjamin. And up he goes again. No, I'm sure he's not. So it doesn't look like there are stairs here. There's just a, another rocky path. So you have to pretty much choose one way to go up. Benjamin, we're up here now. Well, you made it up that wall without using any of the rock grippies. Straight ahead is the Busy Bee Cafe. We've eaten there before. It's been open for quite a while, but it always felt really tucked away. Like, you know, you wouldn't even know it was there, but now it makes a whole lot more sense because it was really meant to be a part of the Wildlife Explorers Base Camp, the Denny Sanford Children's Zoo here at the San Diego Zoo. Because we have all these tables in this wide open space, the entrance to the Busy Bee is right there. So now it all makes sense. We have another play area right here. Looks like they've moved characters and things like that into the Wildlife Explorers Base Camp. And we also have like a snow cone booth over here. Base Camp provisions behind there. So another gift shop. Lots and lots of stuff going on here. I think that about covers it for it. the children's zoo though. Um, if we, since we're up here, just to, to give you some little spatial awareness, if I walk this direction, I'm actually going to end up at the upper area of that water play zone. You can see the rope bridge in the back there. And um, this is the access that we went under that bridge or under that tunnel that took us over to the lower area. So that's that's it for the, uh, that's it for Wildlife Explorers Base Camp and what's included in here. Look what we found here. There's like a little cave. Benjamin's just running around, but Underneath is a little cave the kids can go and hide in. And there's a big lizard you can climb on as well. Well, that was super fun. Absolutely blown away with the Denny Sanford Wildlife Explorers Base Camp here at the San Diego Zoo. We did not show you everything. I could have shown you all of the exhibits and all of the animals and taken time to get up close. But then, why would you want to come yourself? So we have to leave some open for you to come and enjoy the Children's Zoo yourself. And uh, we did explore all the areas, though, and every area that there is to see here at the Wildlife Explorers Base Camp. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Is, is this cool? Is it definitely much improved from what you remember of the child children's zoo before? Uh, interested to hear your thoughts on the all-new Wildlife Explorers Base Camp. And, of course, if you're new to our channel, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. We cover all of the Southern California attractions like the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park, SeaWorld San Diego, Legoland California, Disneyland, and so much more. So we hope to see you around and we'll see you again next time.